Hi guys, it's Linda. I just thought I'd turn the camera back on for a minute today and show you some of the other things that I've been working on in my little studio. I um, am participating in a heart token swap with the Moonies um, from Rubber Moon. And uh, it's a little group I belong to. And we are swapping uh, little hearts, any any kind of um, media that you want. You could paint them. You could, I mean, you could make them out of anything. So I decided to do a little bit of slow stitching. I don't do a lot of slow stitching, but I love it. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a little bit. So I thought I'd turn the camera on and show these to you. Um, I just cut out a heart out of felt and then a coordinating um, size out of an old quilt. And I used, again, some of my favorite Liberty of London fabric and um, made a little heart embellishment there over a little piece of white felt, sewed on some vintage buttons, which, whoa, I just gave you a shove, I'm sorry which are a favorite of mine, and uh, stamped on some muslin, one of my favorite little word stamps, All You Need Is Love, did some Lazy Daisies and some French Knots to accent it, and uh, sewed this together to create the, the top with a little bit of hand stitching and a simple whip stitch that shows to the back and kind of a messy sort of way, which is fine. Another little heart on the back with a vintage applique, a bulb pin with a little handmade with love um, charm. Put a little grow grain ribbon in between the layers for hanging. And that is my, my contribution to the swap. I will mail out five of these to five different people I made one for myself, which actually didn't make it to the camera because you know I didn't finish mine, <laughs> but I will. And I'm gonna get five in the mail, so that's gonna be exciting. I haven't received the first one yet, but they'll be coming soon, so I'm gonna show you each one. They're just a little bit different, different choices of buttons, a little different um, spot in the quilt, which kind of dictated what other colors I used. So you can see backs here. I love being able to use um, some of my beloved vintage quilts and buttons. In my projects, that just really means a lot to me. This one's a little bit different in coloring, but I like it with the black. It was just because it was a little different spot on the quilt. back and here's another one that is a little different it's got some yellows and greens in it so I kind of went with it used a different fabric backs I did in some blues and creams so those are my heart token swaps for my Let's Get Makey Rubber Moon group that I belong to. So excited to be able to mail those out. And then the other thing I've been working on is Junk Journal January with Meg's Journals um, sponsored. And this is my cover. I made a very messy accordion um, journal that is expandable using um, Oh, I've seen everybody make it. I've seen Meg make it from Meg's Journals. I've seen Gail make it from Gail Augustinelli. And I've seen um, Barbara, 47 Dragonflies, make it. So I thought, I can do this. This will be simple. Well, um, it wasn't hard, but of course, my first attempt is a little wonky. But that's okay. So I put these fun ladies on the cover for Junk Journal January. I haven't gotten very far. I'm a little
little behind because I started working on other things. But I'm going to show you just a little bit of what I have. This is, I put the Junk Journal January um, prompts in the front page here. I just have been um, collaging each page. The first theme was, or the first prompt was New Beginnings. So I just put things from my stash. I pretty much just grabbed one of my boxes of scraps and I've been trying to just pull um, things from it. So <laughs> this is my favorite page. My grandchildren were here this day and my grandson who's five in particular and his little brother who's three, they love making junk journals with me. And while, if I'm working on my junk journals, they will come over to my table with these little things and say, here Mimi, I made this for you for one of your journals. And they're treasures. I have an entire box full of little, everything from little teeny tiny strips that they'll call um, tickets. Here, I made you a ticket for your junk journal. I made you a tag. They know all the right verbiage. It is the cutest thing ever. So this is my, um, my they made the pockets. They made all these little pieces of ephemera. Look at that heart that somebody made for me. I don't know if it was Colin or if it was Patrick. And Patrick is in kindergarten and he's learning to print and he, he put Mimi and Colin. And Gum Gum is the name of one of his little stuffed animals that he had asked me to make a name tag for. And this was an extra name tag that we had made for Gum Gum and he glued it on there and colored it. And when they make me things, they always color it pink because it's my favorite color and they know that. How pre I ask you, how precious is this? I mean, my heart can hardly contain how precious these pieces are. So, you know, you glance at this and it looks like a mess, right? But these little moments, which, is, um, which was the prompt, um, are mean the world to me. Look at this little image that Colin drew of me with my heart and my pink. Oh my gosh, I can't even, it almost makes me want to cry just telling you about it. Um, I just love these boys so much. So Colin is five and Patrick is three and then they have Owen who is six months. And Okay, so this was another thing that Colin made for me with my name on it and his name on it and he drew his numbers and he made this for one of my journals for me to put in the pocket. So, um, and then this little strip right here, I have to tell you about it. It's just a little strip of blue paper, right? So one day he came home from kindergarten and we pick him up after school on the days that we watch the boys. And he said, Mimi, I made something for you in my art class today. He had painted a piece of white paper with blue and it was really pretty. He had blue paint all over it and he cut it into strips for my strip basket because I have a basket that I keep just strips for my junk journals and he cut this beautiful piece of artwork into strips for my strip basket for me to use in my journals. So anyway, so I just had to uh, take a minute to tell you about this favorite page in my junk journal January. And then uh, moving on, this was a crazy rotten day that I had. I don't have many of those. Really, I don't have many of those. <laughs> but this was one. This was, I guess, the 3rd of January when the, the um, prompt was torn edges, which was really fitting. And you see this lady? I have this rubber stamp, and she makes me laugh so hard. But I feel like that was me that day. I don't smoke. But if I did, I mean, I would just would have had that look on my face all day. <laughs> So anyway, I journaled about it. And then the next day, I was still um, kind of remorseful about how prickly I felt the day before. And so the theme was stickers, and I found some prickly, um, succulent stickers and put them on that page. So this is not by any stretch of the imagination a beautiful page, but boy, it was fitting for the kind of days that I had. Um, those couple of days as opposed to these days. Uh, the, the beauty of junk journaling is that you can get the stuff out in, an, in a creative way and it is so therapeutic. So anyway, so this was fabric, oops, I got a little 
been their fabric and inspiration. And I had just gotten a shipment in um, of some fabric and some trims that I ordered. I think they came, they came from this shop here, um, a, from a textile Etsy shop in India. And I ordered an assortment of things that had just come that are so gorgeous. So I combined fabric and inspiration into this two page spread and used my favorite fabrics, which are typically Liberty of London prints and some of these new trims and fabrics that I got from the shop and made days five and six. And then uh, seven and eight were good vibes and florals and I just did a very simple um, messy collage um, with this, whenever I think of good vibes, I think of this wonderful um, rubber stamp that I've used so much over the years because she makes me happy. And you can see the first week is as far as I've gotten because I switched gears and started working on my um, Valentine journals and, and my um, heart swap. So I'll get back to this and, and finish up the month. And um, But anyway, I wanted to make a, a video that kind of showed you some of the other things that I do in my studio other than make journals for um, to sell on Etsy. So anyway, that's my story. That's my little video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. It's really fun. I'm having a good time with this. I don't have a lot of time to film, and I don't have the best of equipment, but I sure have a good time sharing. Okay, see you later. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.